Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Fats. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. Uh, we are a mostly whole food plant based cooking channel, uh, all vegan. And uh, please hit the like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff, right? All right. So this is this is a special episode we're gonna do. This is our 200th video. Now, can you believe it? 200. 200. Yeah. Our plan is um, we we thought what are our top five videos in terms of like that we inspired us or we liked or that really wowed us with flavor or taste. And so we thought we'd share that. So as far as value to this video, um, it might be good to just a reminder to go revisit. So we're gonna show those scenes. Yeah, we're gonna show, each of us have our top five memorable moments yeah. on the show, right? All right, so I'm gonna start with, uh, okay. with uh, my one of my uh, most memorable moments of the show, all right? And I think I'd start with, uh, a, it was a video with, that Lex and I did. It was a chocolate chip cookie video. And in the video, mm -hmm. uh, we've got wet ingredients and dry ingredients, right? Yeah. And we've got to take the wet ingredients and pour them in the dry ingredients. And I asked Lex to form a well. And I asked him if he knows what a well is. So let's go to the clip right here. Okay, good job whisking here. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. All right, so. I, I don't really know how to cook. This is my only way of cooking, so. <laughs> okay, so hold this. So we're going to make a well. In here, do you know what a well is? Yes, like a thing you put a lucky coin in, like a genie okay, comes out, well, something like that. A genie? Something like that. <laughs> I'm worried about what school you're going to. Alright, take this, and we're just going to kind of push the middle around and make a hole in the middle, right? Okay, well, I guess that's the best it's getting. Alright, so we're good there. Next, we're going to put in a, a half a cup of maple syrup, right? So, a genie in a well, right? Uh, and of course I'm like, your education scared me. I don't know where he got that from, but he didn't grow up like the same way we did, right? Mm. So, uh, but that one was good because what a safe recipe to make. There's no egg in it, right? So right, right, you can right. eat the dough. Which is what happened after that. I mean, we made the cookies, but we've made that dough over and over again. And we just eat the dough. So, so, I mean, that's kind of one of my most memorable moments. What about, do you have one? Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, go next. We all know that Joey doesn't really like mushrooms. There have to be other households that feel the same way. And this one recipe worked. And it was the pulled oyster pork. The one where pulled. we forked the oyster, right? And created like a like a pulled pork. Yeah, so the oyster mushroom's pretty big. We pulled it with a fork. And, with, and everyone knows I don't like mushrooms, right? <laughs> and I went through that whole video with him going, well, why, why am I here? Like, this is gonna be a nightmare. And it turned out to be yeah. really so good. So let's jump to this clip of Joey eating this and genuinely liking it. Yeah. All right, you can see all the strands from pulling of the mushroom. This looks really great. Um, at this point, I would, if someone wanted more sauce, they can absolutely do that, right? But I made some coleslaw here. So I'm just gonna top it a little bit. Just give it some color, a little crunch. It's kind of the salad portion of this for sure. Mm. Alright, this looks really good. Let me cut this in half. Okay, I think we're ready to call Joey down and have a bite, right? Alright, I've got this all plated and Joey! Alright, it was much of that I couldn't keep myself. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Joey, I've got we did once did a video a few years ago on lentils and a barbecue sandwich. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. It's coleslaw, yeah. Yeah, so this version is actually king oyster mushrooms. All right. I'm not sure, I don't even know if you've had one. Yeah, just don't tell me. Let me just try it. Okay, okay. Don't, don't explain it. Okay, okay, I don't want to know. All right, ready? Mmm. It's really good. So you have texture of the coleslaw. Mm. Are you tasting the barbecue sauce? No, yeah, I can taste the barbecue. It's delicious. Yeah. So, you, you, the reason you don't like mushrooms is because it's, it's a texture thing, right? Because they're dirty. They always taste dirty. Okay. Are you tasting dirty? We're not tasting dirty, guys. Okay. Thank okay, you for okay. having an open mind. Seriously. And that's what I think everyone watching this video, if you don't like mushrooms, I think it's worth a try. Uh, as well as the rest of your family you may not even want to say anything until the end. All right, so as you can see, I ate that. I would have eaten the second one. It was really good. I really think the barbecue sauce and uh, well, you know what it was? It, it looked like like uh, pulled pork. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it didn't have the mushrooms. I know mushrooms aren't slimy unless you cook them wrong, but it didn't have. I didn't feel like I was biting into a mushroom, yeah. right? 
And there's just something about, like tofu doesn't bother yeah. me, but mushrooms do. Yeah, and that barbecue sauce has such a strong flavor that you're not gonna taste anything earthy either. And I like think it's that's, really messy. That's the yeah. issue. I always taste like mushrooms like are not, like you can't really clean them enough. Uh, but because you fork this is the inside of the mushroom, yeah. I thought the sandwich was amazing. It's the one time that I really enjoyed mushrooms and I'm just proud to talk about it. Yeah, it's still summertime, so if you have a gathering, it's an option for sure. All right, so I got another one here. All right, so it was another Lex video, right? And we were we were starting the video and we were making uh, a tofu scramble, right? Uh, yes, yes. And Lex comes on and he starts the video with me. He wanted, for some reason, he wanted to be like, welcome back to another episode, guys, okay. right? And he goes, I let, oh, he goes, welcome back. Well, let me show you the video and watch what happens. Watch what he says about the uh, tofu scramble. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Plant Based Dad episode. Today, I am joined with... Plant Based Dad's Joey. <laughs> and today, we are making vegan scramble. I mean... <laughs> We're not scrambling vegans. We're not trying to hurt anyone, right? I mean, some of them are kind of mean. I still don't want to scramble them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> scrambled vegans, not what was on our menu that day, uh, and that just made for a whole, like, like comedy scene, right? Um, and that was when, you know, it was cool to work with your dad, and, you know, he didn't have that, he wasn't moody and all that stuff, so a lot of fun there. What do you got? But I love that recipe because it's just, you make it once and you can have leftovers and warm it up on the yeah. fly. Having veggies in it. That's it's awesome. Uh, tofu yeah. scramble still what I mean, he still loves that to say. Yeah, okay. So, I did a I attempted a uh, video for what I eat in a day at work. That's right, I yes. That. And in that, um, I had been drinking fig leaf tea, and I thought that was really cool. And some people had commented that they never even heard of that, just like I hadn't, you know, weeks prior. Um, so and it was something I could get on Etsy. Uh, so fig leaf tea, so many benefits, uh, so, but, I, but it made an impact. All right, let's, let's go to that clip so people can see what we're so, talking so about. what it looks like. Okay, first off the bat, for 10 a.m. snack, I have some steamed cauliflower with the potato carrot cheese sauce and a little drizzle, maybe a lot of drizzle, of some sriracha garlic barbecue sauce. Okay, and then I brewed some fig leaves that were uh, dried. And we seep that for about 15 minutes, uh, put it in the refrigerator, and um, I've got a cold drink, and there's some benefits to this. Okay, we'll see you at lunch. So you just, like, that was a what I eat in a day, and it went to me, and then it went to you, and it went to me, and then it went to you, yeah. right? And you were just like, I've got some fig leaf tea when I made this. And I was like, I thought nothing of it. And the comments were just out of control. People were like, how did you make that? This is a great idea, blah, blah, blah. I had no idea. First of all, there were that many tea lovers, right? Yeah. And then just you showing something you, you know, just kind of made, and people were just like, oh, "We need, you know, we need to see this." Yeah, so, and it's definitely a tea that has strong flavor. Um, but so you can add ginger if you're not a fan of ginger. You can add lemon. Um, so anyway, it was something worth sharing, and it impacted a few people. So I thought that was awesome. So I wanted to share that. So stuff like that is always a surprise. Yeah. That big leaf thing wasn't planned, yeah. right? It was just something you were having yeah. and there was a huge reaction to yes, it, yes. right? All right, good. Okay. All right, so I think uh, another one of my most memorable moments is I did a, uh, a week of lunches video in uh, March and that's where I film my lunches one day a week, okay. right? And then after I have five of them, I put them in together. And these right. are lunches at school, yeah. right? At my work, right? In my classroom. And normally, I eat by myself in my classroom. But in this particular one, the kids didn't want, it was raining or something outside during recess, and the kids wanted to eat it with me in my classroom. Okay. And I knew there was a mistake. I told them I was going to record, and they're like, we'll be quiet, we won't say anything. And it just turns into a fiasco. Check out the clip. All right, don't laugh. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, today, I'm really excited about lunch. I've got all right, you can't see it, but in addition to Layla and Angie, uh, JC joined us also. But we're not going to show anyone on camera, right? Um, so now I've got like a crowd. Now I'm filming in front of a live studio audience, right? Which I normally don't do. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mmm, so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really funny. <laughs> My students are like, this is really funny. So, um, so I'm going to eat this and then we'll try a little bit of the salad. Oh, there's your reading bell, isn't it? Can you excuse me out of reading, please? 
Excuse you out of your next class? That is so me miserable. Too, me too, me too, so too. miserable in there. Oh my god. I hate that. Oh, you guys gotta go to your next class. That's it. Sorry. Oh, that I can't excuse so you. I'm not, I'm not even. Oh. Uh, say, say that we're busy doing they don't want to leave. The so bell rang. Really You're not busy doing it. No, okay. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go. I'll see you in seventh period. What? There's no cameras in here. They wouldn't know. I'm like, well, the people online would know. All right, they're gone. The, re the bell rang for their reading class, so uh, they had to go. Oh my gosh, guys, trying to film with people in here, it's just so crazy. They're like giggling and laughing and they won't leave. I'm like, I'm filming a video. They're like, oh, we'll just hang out. I'm like, no, you gotta go. They're like, no, no, we wanna watch. I'm like, okay. All right. I mean, as you can see, like, they wanna be in the video and I'm telling them that's not happening. One of them, uh, JC, sticks his head in the video and I had to like happy face him out. And then it's time for them to go, the bell rings and they won't leave. And they're like saying, you can hear them in the video, like, just write us a pass so we don't have to go, we'll stay here with you. And I'm like, no, you gotta go. Like, Meanwhile, it's the math class, by the way. They're like, we'll just stay till, till South Carolina. Like, no, you gotta go. And they're like, no one, no one's gonna know, right? I'm like, oh my gosh. They would not leave. Finally, they got the message and had to leave. I mean, I love those kids very much. It was cool if they wanted to stay with me, but um, it's not a good idea to film these things when the kids are there because they're all like, they just want, you know what I mean? Like, they don't wanna go. Yeah. They, they're right. totally okay with the camera. And it was everything I could do just to keep them like on their side of the table. Yeah, that's right? funny. So that was a lot of fun. What about yeah, you? Yeah. Okay. Um, next. Oh, so just a few weeks ago, we did a cucumber salad that my mom had made for us. We made for Deanne because she had knee surgery. Yes. Um, it was your mom's the, recipe. The, the kitchen was re being remodeled. Yeah, and Deanne's then we, kitchen, we brought yeah. this, you know, brought the vegan version to her. And... She was skeptical at first because we used that tofu mayo, right? And people are like, tofu, I'm not, you know. Anyway, she loved it, said it was the best version she's had. So I was like, why haven't I shared this? And then, um, so I shared it, but the comments were so awesome. Like, Joey's like, you need to like take a look here because um, it triggered so many memories for people growing up, what their mom made or in their family. And so I feel like it was this reminder. The part that you're leaving it out is this is his Minnesota cucumber salad. <laughs> yeah. The word Minnesota just triggers people's memories, right? Yeah. Um, his mom has a cookbook. Uh, a lot of these uh, farm homes yep. families do, right? And it's an you know, older cookbook. It's out of print and all that. Um, and, and it was your mom's cucumber salad, right? Uh, which just needed a tweak or two to be vegan friendly, yeah. right? And uh, so Tim grew up on this and loves it. I can't stand cucumbers. Like, I just don't like them, right? So we never think to make it. Tim likes it. And then... Yeah, I make it and it's for myself. Yeah, so know? he brought it to our friend Deanne during her kitchen remodel and she loved it. Um, and we decided to make a video on it. And the, the cucumber salad, I don't know that that was such a spectacular video. But like you said, the comment just triggered all of these people who were like, Oh my gosh, my mom used to make this for me. I forgot all about it. Oh, I made this. It reminds me of my childhood. Like, it was just this trigger for people back to where they came from or where they grew up. Yeah. Or what? And people started making it. Yeah. And the comments were just amazing to read. And I was like, you have to read these comments. Like, they're not the usual, oh, I love everything you make. Love watching yeah. your show. It wasn't that. Yeah. And I, and I wanted to make this because I just believe, you know, cucumbers are so good for us. And... And then it hit me like this could be probably a special occasion, right. but definitely if you're looking at what to bring to an outing or a picnic this summer, I should have given that video out sooner, but um, no, that is a good one. And I really appreciate all the comments and that. So quick, we'll show a picture. Yeah, let's do a picture. Uh, let's do a clip of the salad. And, then... and we have our cucumbers I took out of the fridge here. So I'm just gonna dish up a little bit to give it a try. So you can see, I love the rings of onions, right? <laughs> and I'm trying to resist you know, drinking that um, milky sauce, right? Okay. Mmm, really tames down the onion. So that's why I think using that sweet onion is nice, but red is good as well. We use it in salads, right? Oh yeah, I love this. I hope you can see that this is something you make ahead, bring to people's house or for barbecue. Anyway, if you have any comments, let me know, or if you have questions, um, I've made this so many different ways, so I can suggest something if um, if you're looking for something special. All right, All right. so you got uh, another. So let me. I got one here. So I would think my next one. Um, <laughs> last year, my birthday, right? It's it's August now of 2022. Last year, my birthday uh, in October, uh, Nini came over with the kids, right? 
and our other friend. Yeah. Nini Girl. Yeah, Nini Girl. Right, Nini Girl on YouTube came over. She's a friend of mine. Um, we need to tell that story and how we met one day, uh, but probably not the time right here. So um, I'm waiting to do a video with Nini where we can tell that story, right? All right, too much. So Nini comes over and we're having a, a I'm, I'm getting everything ready, getting all the food ready. I lay out this food and Nini comes over and brings up over some tofu, which I hadn't cooked. And we talk about tofu and Nini talks about uh, how, I, I talk about how I don't eat tofu because it's you know, a fat, so I'm trying to stay away from it. And she talks about why she eats it. And her, it's like she just said this on camera and it's so funny. So let's go to the clip. Look who's here! <laughs> Miss Nini girl. Yay. Okay, so I already showed them a spread of food that I put out. We like went through anything, but um, you were nice enough to bring over some tofu to snack on, right? And we're kind of waiting for Tim and Jenny to come in, so we're not really allowed to eat, but I'm so hungry. Because I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm so hungry. Me too. And this is so good. Do you have a video for this or no? No. Oh my god. That's absolutely I delicious. I just did it. So we'll see. I miss tofu because we're trying not to eat it, right? Oh, yeah. I didn't know anything. No, no, no. I mean, really, it doesn't matter. But, okay. but you know, um, in the group that we're in, right, tofu is kind of like a fat, so we don't eat too much of it. I need it for my hormones. Yeah. Because of my hot flashes. Mm. So Nini has to have the tofu for her hot flashes, which if, if you if you watch the rest of that video, we kind of talk about how I just heard like from a Dr. Bernard yeah. where tofu is a big uh, option for people when they're having like menopause, yeah. like tofu like negates a lot of that. So she yeah. was absolutely correct, right? But I was just like- No, we thought it was funny. I thought it was funny she's talking about her hot flashes on, on the channel, yeah. right? Um, but that's needy. Like she's just like she just tells you how it is, right? Which is one of the things we love about her. Um, so that was fun. What about you? That was fun. Okay, next one. Um, oh, I think one of the highlights this year and valuable was doing that cilantro green dressing. Yes. And we did it over Christmas. And I said, Mom, come over here and, and try this. Yeah. And her genuine reaction that she really loved it, I could just tell that she did. So it was one more step in winning her over to as far as being a plant-based whole food cooking that you can still have things with flavor and deliciousness, right? Yeah. So but we use that on a salad, um, uh, drizzled for taco night. Anyway. Let's go to the so, 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 like, yeah. Now's the time to like taste test this, okay? I'm gonna drizzle some of the salad and then I'll invite my mom over here to, uh, to, to try this and win her over, right? Mom, are you there? Come. Oh, hey. hey this son. is my mom. Thank you Hi. for visiting us. You're welcome. So we're getting ready for Christmas dinner, and I wanted to introduce the salad dressing. Um, yes. Yes. And I think I, it's huge to show that vegan mayo dressing starch solution, so you're not eating so much whipped oil. As a result, that's in this salad. Let's try this. So I'm excited to try this. Tomato. Yeah. So it's a little bit on the warm side. So I apologize for that. Anyway, okay, well, try thank that. you, son. I'm, yeah. I'm anxious to try this. Oh, I know it's going to be delicious. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. Just, just taking a small bite yeah. and it just no dairy. Wow. We didn't add any sugar to so this. So fresh and mm, so good. So your mom almost seems surprised when you call her over, like, you're like, Mom, I'm going to try it. I love it. But she's not used to being on film, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. um, you know so anyway, um, she was genuinely really happy with that and that was over Christmas so that just conjured up a good memory but the uses for that I know it seems rich but sometimes when it's just a drizzle on a taco it's not that much and for that extra flavor yeah and there's no cheese no sour cream it's a great replacement if you're thinking of that yeah it's made a cash yeah. but just put a drizzle on but that whole cilantro taste like yeah. it's really rich but again, rich in taste yeah but, right it's a great topping yep yeah, great and we had other people here as well they loved it. They had no idea they were just eating all whole food, plant-based food here. Like that was exciting to see. So that video is worth bringing up again in case you ever need that in your The wheelhouse. good thing about your mom uh, and Mike visiting is that whenever they leave here, they leave with all these ideas, right? Uh -huh. They start like drinking the, the oat milk that we're drinking, right? They start buying like the stuff that we buy. And they're, even though that they're well into their 70s, they're not like stuck where they're not changeable. They totally like absorb information and change their lives, right? And I love them for that. Absolutely, I mean, here you have two people from the farm and all of a sudden psyllium husk is in their smoothies. Um, things that were like, so 
definitely they're open and I think that's the big deal. Yeah. As long as they remain open, we're just showing them the goodness. So Yeah, and I mean but, they, they absorb it and take it in. All right. But, but I love that about them. So, so I've got one more, and this is my top moment that, that's memorable for me in, in the show. And it was the very first video that you and I did together. Really? Yes. We did the Buckwheat video and uh it was the first time that we kind of just met you, right? And in your all natural laughing form, right? Let's go to the clip. Everybody, welcome to Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. What's cooking today? Well, I'm glad you asked Tim. Here's what we have cooking. What are we making? Well, it looks like buckwheat. Well, it's not just buckwheat, it's the very best. <laughs> 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 Instapop buckwheat. All right, so in that clip you can see Tim starts laughing, right? And, and I cut I cut in a thing from a Hallmark commercial where they're doing the different types of laughs, and this one was the goose, and I put that in there, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever, and it went out, and people loved it, and you saw it, and you were like, that's not cool, you're making fun of me. And I said, well, that's what people want to see. They want to see me make fun of you, and you're like, no, they don't. You need to be nice. And I was like, no one wants to see me be nice to you. You know, they want us to play off of each other. And you're like, that's not okay. And I was like, oh man. So ever since then, that was the original idea for me for the channel where we would have like an Abbott Costello, Laurel and Hardy, right? You and I would play off each other. And ever since then, I've been nice. So I know for you, that's not a favorite moment of the show. But for me, it was the, the it was the lead in. It was the it set the tone for the whole show. So yeah. that's memorable. I don't know that it was funny, but it was memorable. <laughs> yeah. No, and I think that's what we bring to the channel is both of us have different, I mean, we are different, so it's good. Okay, so still not crazy about it. Go ahead, but I, I to me, it's my most memorable video, uh, moment of the show, and you go ahead. What's okay. your last one, or so your number one? Our next one, if there's a dish I eat that I feel lean throughout the day, not bloated, f just really good, and that's the misarwat, le that lentil dish. Who would have thought like a dish from Ethiopia, that flavor profile would be so delicious, but over rice or just by itself, cold or hot, I'll eat it. Um, so that is my, I thought, surprise video. So let's go to the clip here so you yeah. can see what we're talking about. This is our Ethiopian uh, lentil stew on Mizrawat, right? And it's ready to serve. So you can see here, guys, it's a, a really filling dish. I mean, there's, there's a lot here. The lentils are absolutely beautiful in their red texture. The, uh, you can see the spinach right there. Um, it's wilted and ready to eat. I've topped it with a little bit of cilantro just for some, uh, some extra little oomph at the end and for uh, garnish. So I, we had this all last week for lunch, right? We, we make yeah. this probably every other week on meal prep. And it's just one of those things that it, it's just filling, it smells, every time I make this, I take it to work, people are like, what are you eating, right? Like, no one else has got that. And it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, and I'm the guy that can eat anything, right? So eating this cold is fine with me. When I sometimes just need two or four tablespoons, I'm good. No. So it gets me that little fix, but um, but I'm just surprised still. I thought I would share this with you. We There's a local Ethiopian restaurant that makes this. Um, it's sold at Whole Foods as well. It is expensive. So. And lentils are not expensive. But right, exactly. dishes, it's that, like 20 bucks for a lentil stew, right? And it's yeah. like you would make it for like two. Right? Yeah, so so getting it just like if it's just for me, it's just worth it making in the Instapot. Um, it's not very hard and it's that sort of thing. So yeah, so I mean, I I absolutely love um, that 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 stew. I don't know if it's one of the most memorable moments of the show, but I absolutely love it. It so. is. I feel like I need to share it. Like that is one of the one of the dishes that's such a such a good thing that I feel best with. So all right, so those are our our our, uh, our memorable moments. Some things about the channel now that we're you know. 200 episodes in. Like I said, went through three different homes, three different kitchens. We had to build this one, right, from scratch. There's a video right here if you want to see that. Um, I lost 30 pounds from the time the show started to about a year after, right, because we switched to the starch solution. So before that, I was just doing whole, whole food plant-based. So, um, and I'm still at that point and things are starting to change again. Um, and then it also, like we started this channel in 2018, really no one saw it until COVID hit in 2020, and then all of a sudden, we just started gaining subscribers like crazy, right? And we went to, we're at almost 40,000 subscribers now. Yeah, I mean, I think there was this huge movement to, to make your own food and and not so much 
going out. Well, or, you couldn't go out, right? And people, we were in quarantine and all that. And uh, when people were like, I, I gained the COVID-20, I lost 20 pounds during COVID. Like, yeah. I had the opposite effect. So, um, all right. So, a lot of information there. 200 episodes. It's a big milestone, right? But we still have a lot of work to do. We do. And then I think, um, you know, let's just recap a little bit on what happened a couple months ago. And so, oh, so the big, right. What we left out of there was the, the tumor, right? Correct. So just so many things with that. One was me videoing something without editing in the waiting room. Yeah. So and planning for, for that. the Facebook group, Tim videoed right in the room while I was out of it. And it was really, I saw this video later on. It was like, why didn't you edit? But he just wanted to give the Facebook group, right, an update because they were all worried. And it basically is really dark and you can't see anything. Mm -hmm. You can see Tim's mm -hmm. face and you can hear him. And he's quiet. He's like, we're in Joey's room. He seems to be resting, yeah. <laughs> right? That sort of thing. And later on, I'm like looking at this video in the group going, I was out. Why didn't you just speak up? Like, why didn't you stand in a, in a but, you, okay. Okay. But, but it was really nice of you. To give the group an update because yeah. they were kind like I had just told them I'm leaving. They will, they wanted to know they wanted to know what was going on. And I feel like if you're in the Facebook group, you got a really nice kind of personal update. And you never yeah. do videos like you don't even know how to do any of that, right? Yeah. So that was really thoughtful. I'm glad that you did that. Thanks. Um, and then going forward now, we are so excited for this the next episodes and chapter in our life because you had a cortisol tumor, which high cortisol holds on weight. So yeah. anyway. Super excited. Um, you're healing awesomely. All I'm your done appointments, healing like I've healed. Yeah, so. all your appointments, everything's been clean, yeah. clear. Um, you know, they're monitoring the hormones. You just had some more tests, you had some more imaging. So we'll see what results from that. But so far, all the other appointments, everything looks everything. clean and good. Yeah. yeah. You're you're doing well. You're under stress right now with um, the new school year. Well, but you're yeah. doing you're doing great. Yeah, so, so everything's going good. All right, guys. As always, we thank you for supporting the show. Please hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe. And we're actually moving the videos from Monday to Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen with this video, but Monday's not going to be the day anymore. It's just too much to get a video out on Monday when uh, sometimes we don't film until Saturday or Sunday. Saturday right? or Sunday, I yeah. need to get it out yeah. to the Patreons and, pay and PayPal people like 48 hours early. It's just not working. Yep. Okay, so, guys. So after 200 videos, we're so thankful for you. Also for us, yeah. and um, so looking forward to our this next chapter post surgery. Um, more recipes still to share. What what works for us? Um, again, we're trying all these things, right? Yeah. So. Sounds good. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. bye.